Welcome to USF College Daily. I'm Kalen Marksham. Today it is time to get in to a review of the movie Get Out from our Movie Moment crew. Welcome to USF Movie Moment. I'm Casey Kelderman. Today we're talking about the latest horror thriller to hit the big screen, Get Out. Get Out is written and directed by Jordan Peele, who uh, you might know him from Key and Peele fame. Uh, he did, you know, the comedy stuff, but now he's doing horror. So this film, uh, it stars Daniel Kaluuya, Al Allison Williams, and Bradley Whitford. So you guys coming up from the city? Yeah, we're just heading up for the weekend. Can I see your license, please? He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. So the basic premise is this. An African-American man, Chris, uh, played by Daniel Kaluuya, goes with his white girlfriend, played by Allison Williams, her name's Rose in this movie, and goes and visits her white parents. Notice how I had to explicitly say white and African-American and explain you know, what race each character was. That's because this film delves heavily into racism. Chris and Rose goes and visits her family, and during the, her family uh, visitation, uh, they find out there's gonna be a party thrown. So this makes everything very uncomfortable because everybody at the party is white except for a few black people that have, uh, have been what it looks like to be hypnotized, brainwashed, whatever it may be. I don't want to give anything away to you guys, but things are very uncomfortable for Chris uh, during this time, and he doesn't know what's going on. But during this time, also the audience feels uncomfortable, which is, leads me into my positives for this movie. The entire time I felt uncomfortable. It wasn't just because I was white and watching this movie about uh, racism and racism towards other races uh, but uh, you know it makes you feel uncomfortable the entire time there is comedy sprinkled throughout which I liked a lot uh, I didn't expect it I should have probably with Jordan Peele behind the camera but I wasn't expecting it uh, Chris's best friend in the movie is a TSA agent and you know he's trying to figure out what's going on he's into conspiracy theories and stuff like that so he he thought right away something was going fishy and you know what he was right in the end a few more of the positives I had were that the acting was great. Everybody in this movie was great. Uh, the guy that plays Chris, Daniel Kaluuya, he's going to be in a lot of films now. I know that. Uh, he did a great job in this movie. Also, the best friend who played the TSA agent. You know, he's going to show up in all these other comedies everywhere else. Also, another thing I loved about the movie was the score. Uh, the score just puts you on the edge of your seat the entire time. It was a great uh, horror film score. It wasn't too bombastic, you know, with the jump scares, but it was still subtle enough, but yet uh, helped add to the tone of the film. Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. Wait. As with every film, it has a few negatives. So this one, one of the big negatives of this movie uh, involves some of the stuff that happens towards the end of the movie. I won't give it away, but it goes a little too much into a sci-fi aspect, which I thought was, you know, way off the course from what they had set up. They had a set up uh, from a very realistic tone with realistic characters, but then towards the end, it goes very much into, you know, the sci-fi horror films. You know, uh, I, I get that it was, you know, supposed to, this movie was supposed to be relaying some of the stuff, you know, that's happened in the past with uh, exploitation films, uh, even with, you know, this film that I'm wearing on my shirt right now, Night of the Living Dead. You know, it's, it's trying to go into stuff like that, but it already set up a realistic tone, so I don't know why it went too much into the science fiction. Another negative I had was that this film, uh, it might upset a few people, and I'm not just saying because of the racism. Uh, it is rated R, there is cursing, there is swearing, there is a lot of blood, so if you're you know, squeamish or you don't like that kind of stuff, uh, I went with my girlfriend, she's not a fan of that stuff, that uh, turned her off from everything else in the film, so if you're not into that stuff, this might not be the movie for you. So with all those positives and negatives to the film, I thought Get Out was a really fun horror film. Uh, you know, it went a little too much into the sci-fi, as I said. You know, that kind of deterred from the uh, this overall score I'm about to give it. But overall, I loved the social undertones of it. It's a, you're not your typical you know racist movie or anything like that. It goes uh, a little more into uh, the psyche of these characters and uh, not relying too much on uh, stereotypes. So with all that being said, I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. For USF's Movie Moment, I'm Casey Kelderman. For people who like horror movies, Get Out definitely seems like the movie to see. On Wednesday, March 8th, Disney shareholders were given a sneak peek at some footage from Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Daniel Miller, one of the shareholders, shared what they were about on Twitter. He said the footage showed a variety of epic landscapes, shots of General Leia, Chewbacca, and Finn. And one of the clips was the very beginning of the movie. It picks up exactly where Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens left off, with Luke Skywalker finally saying words, and those words are, Who are you? No answer was shown, so fans will have to wait until December 18th to find out.
That's all the time we have for today. Come back tomorrow for another news update. I'm Kayla Markstrom for USF College Daily.